Feet on the ground, body's nice and tall, chest is lifted. Bring your hands back behind you and then just press gently into the heel of your hands as you lift the chest up. Just kind of open up the chest. I'm pulling with my heels. At the same time, I'm kind of pushing down with my hands. If this bothers your thumbs, you can always go to your knuckles. And then release, just kind of round, take your hands to the backs of your thighs, round the upper back. Again, lift the chest, this time just stay here, pull back on your legs, lift the chin, lift the sternum, drop the chin, drop the sternum. So about 10 head nods. Lift the chin, drop the chin, lift the chin, drop the chin. Keep that tension underneath, lift and lengthen, pull back from the crown of the head as if you're pulling from your tailbone. One or two more. And last one. Hands back again, just drop your knees left and right. So. This month, specifically, we're going to be working on basic movement patterns. Push, pull, lift, lower, balance, hinge, and stabilize. Rotation is one of those. So we rotate at joints. We rotate around the midline of the body. So we rotate head to heels or heels to head as best we can. So you're not rotating from the midsections, and then, which would then would be more like twisting. Two more, and last one. Bring both feet together, hold both knees, rotate towards your right or left. Make sure you're holding both knees. Turn, go the other direction, rotate. And then turn back towards me. Swing those legs around, come into all fours, and then just begin with a gentle knees rocking. So again, notice with my knees rocking, my hips aren't really coming forward. I'm just bringing my, I'm not dropping my hips down and bending. I'm bringing my hands, bringing my shoulders over my wrists, keeping my head and chest up. So most specifically kind of mimics a squat. So we prep the squat movement. The other thing is underneath the arms, you're getting this pull back. So you're getting your lats warmed up. Today we're gonna to be working primarily on pressing. So like push-ups, those types of things. Chest is up, body's nice and tall. Do two or three more. Again, think of from underneath the armpits. And then pause. Go ahead and um, reach out right arm, left leg to bird dog. Get long. As you reach out, make sure you're not lifting up and tilting. So when we don't want rotation is in this type of position. So like a lunge, in a sense, is like this. Reach out nice and long. Make sure that you're pausing at your end ranges without overreaching, because you want to avoid the tipping. Two more each side. Last one here, we're just gonna go to plank to pike. So knees up, push back, come forward. Lift the hips, drop the hips. Again, watch out that you're not letting the hips flop. Two more, and last one. Walk your feet in a little bit so your heels can go down. Drop your weight back so your weight's back on your feet. You're kind of in a squat. Just feel that stretch. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, hands to your knees. Keep your left hand on your left elbow. Take your right hand up. So watch that your right hand's not flopping someplace, but you're rotating out of that left shoulder, pushing down into that left knee, 
Right arm is going straight up. And then down, right elbow down, and left arm up. Again, you're rolling through the torso. And then back down. Bring your legs a little bit closer. And then you're going to reach your left arm underneath you. So you're going to mostly stretch the back side of that left arm. You can do kind of whatever you want to with the right. And then bring yourself up and then turn to the other side. So you're bringing your right arm to your left elbow as much as you can. And then come back up, hinge to stand. Body's nice and tall, chest is lifted. Let's finish this part with a cross crawl. Do five more, four, three, two, rotate around the torso. Make sure you lift that back heel. Six, seven, make sure you turn the head. Two, eight, nine, and 10. Good, roll your shoulders up, back, and around. Watch that the elbows don't come with you so you're not just kind of bending the elbows. Roll from the back side of the body. Do four, three, two, and last one. Swing your arms back, swing your arms up. Get nice and tall. Reach up through, get long. Good, sink way back, keep your head and chest up. Swing back and swing up. Do four, three, we're gonna rotate two, and last one, Ro down, rotate up, down, rotate up. Be careful because this is where you could get dizzy with this swing down, rotate up. Notice my foot, my back foot is rotating as well. Down, rotate up. One more time each side, up, down, and rotate up. Good, rotate around the torso one more time. Three, two, back to knees, hand to knee, right hand to left, left hand to right. Four, three, two more, and last one. All right, so we're gonna start with a squat. We're gonna do three squats. We're gonna get on the ground. We're gonna do three knees rocking, and then we're gonna do three push-ups. So three squats, three knees rocking, three push-ups. Nice and simple, right? So again, with your squat, go as low as you can. Widen out those feet. Remember, it's not chest over body. It's hips over uh, heels. Squat down three, one, get as low as you can, and two, and three. All the way down, all the way up. Down to the ground, knees rocking, just three. Do one, so you're pulling from underneath the arms, and three, and then regular push-ups. One, two, and three. Knees underneath. Come back to stand. We're gonna do five of each. Five squats, five knees rocking, five push-ups. In three, two, and go. Squat down, get low, stand up. So notice I'm going relatively slow. I wanna work my range of motion. Here's four and five. Nice and low, all the way down, all the way back up. Drop in, go slow, and knees rocking. One, on the knees rocking, if you can, do it with your mouth closed, tongue against the roof of your mouth. Here's four, one more, 
to five. Push-ups, hands wide, drop yourself in. You can have your knees on the ground. Two, three, four, and five. And down. Come back up. And we're gonna do eight. So we'll do eight squats, eight rocking, eight push-ups. In three, two, and go. Squat down and come back up. Get low and come back up. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight here. All the way down, all the way back up. Onto the ground, take your time, hands down, just knees rocking, eight. Find that length without flopping the hips in. Here's six, seven, and eight, and then push-ups. You can have knees on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Pause as you need to. Coming back up again, and we've got 10 of everything. Starting again in three, two, and go. Squat down and come back up. Breathing. Notice I'm pausing at each end range, pausing on the way down, pausing on the way up. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10. Good, so if you're done faster than I am, a couple of things, your range might be slow or lower, less, or maybe you're moving faster. 10, knees rocking, eyes forward, head forward, chest forward. Keep your toes down. Here's five. Seven, eight, nine, and again, 10. Again, knees up or knees down for the push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Sink back and let's come all the way to stand. Get a sip. We're going to do them for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. You have plenty of rest in between. Remember, your 30 seconds is always your 30 seconds. Do your best. Move how you need to. Don't worry so much about depth unless you want to do that. Okie doke. 30 seconds on each one, 30 seconds off each one. We're gonna do three rounds, starting in three, two, and go. 30 seconds of squats. So notice my squat range just drastically shortened. I'm not bringing my butt to my heels now. I'm still keeping my head behind my knees my butt's going down. You got about 10 seconds left. You've got five seconds. And done. Good. Come on down to the ground. You'll do knees rocking. 
Now, if you want to do knees rocking with your knees off the ground, great. That'll give you that good propulsion. It's a little bit more work for the shoulders and back. Start in 10 seconds. In five, three, two, knees rocking. Again, if this can be done as a reset, you can look around. As a reset, you wanna keep that breath moving through the nose, eyes moving, head moving as you can. 10 seconds left. And done, good. And then push-ups. Again, you could go probably faster from your knees. A bigger range, more movement for the chest, or full body, more core, glutes. Work on tightening those glutes, work on tightening those on the core, and really using your legs and your push-up, especially if you're gonna go full body. Let's start in three, two, and go, 30 seconds push-ups. You've got about 10 seconds left. And done. Woo. Let's come back up again. We got two more sets of that. Nice base move workouts. Just trying to find that nice even balance between reps and sets. I'm gonna change my so I have a timer going instead of trying to watch my clock. All right. Let's go in three, two, we'll start with squats. Squats for 30 seconds. Again, you can go lower and go slower if you want. You're still moving for 30 seconds. It's just your range and your speed that you're changing or manipulating. Watch that bounce at the bottom. Try to make sure that you find your end range And last one. Come on down to the ground. Get a sip. You've got plenty of time. You've got 30 seconds. See how I'm sitting here? You can't. I'm sitting back on my heels. If you tend to sit that way real quickly, especially after squats, and you feel a little dizzy, it's because you're shutting off the blood flow a little bit. So be aware. Knees rocking, 30 seconds. So if you have a hard time getting up and getting down, be aware that you're not sitting all the way back onto your heels. And so you're not kind of compressing that, the return back blood flow. 10 seconds. And done. I'm just gonna flip my legs around and just do a little bit of knees side to side in the pause. Just cause, why not? I mean, I've got 30 seconds. All right, 10 seconds left. Let's set it up for push-ups again. In three, two, and go. 30 seconds push-ups. Fifteen seconds left. And done. Nice job, guys. 
So let's come back up. We've got one more set of that timed. You can do cross crawls as you want for your, for your transitional move. Rotate, whatever you'd like to do. Get a sip. <coughs> We've got 10 seconds. So again, find your depth that you want to do. Try to stick with that pace. Five seconds, three, two, and squats. Full extension through those hips, through those knees, even the ankles. Think of them as flexing and extending too. Not just, it's not just a knee and, and hip movement. 10 seconds left, fully extend, push that ground down, and done. Come back to the ground, knees rocking. I know this is the last set, but trying to do knees rocking elevated is a great way to kind of push yourself even in the last. That's where you really find the challenge and the change is in that last bit of time where you can kind of do a little bit more than you thought. Let's go in five seconds, four, three, two, and knees rocking. Again, if you want those knees off, a little bit more. Again, you're finding that range. Ten seconds left. You can look around with that knees rocking and done. All right, last set. We've got push ups. And then we're going to move on to some rotation and some balance work. All right, let's do this. You've got 10 seconds. Set yourself up. Five seconds for push ups. Three, two, and go. Fifteen seconds. And done. Nice job, guys. Let's come back up top. We'll go into a cross crawl. Just to reset the system, close your mouth, turn against the roof of your mouth, look up, look down, look left, look right. Good. Go ahead and kick off your shoes if you have them on. Socks are optional. So for balance, you want to have those shoes off as much as you can, because that's the earth. Earth isn't designed slanted in a sense. So you want to get those shoes off so you can use your toes. You can use your whole foot. Because remember, where the foot goes, there the body goes as well. So if the foot's imbalanced, unstable, really the rest of the system will go that direction as well. All right, so we're just going to start with our feet on the ground. Go ahead and lift out of your heels, lift up and back down. It may be kind of clicky in there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Get it as high as you can. Four, three, two, last one. Then you're going to shift back. So just kind of shift back. Try to drive, not through the knees. And you can come forward if you want, up onto the toes. But you're going to push back into those hips. Drive into the ankles. 
So you're getting that stretch down that sciatic line as well. Do about five more, four, three. Remember, you're not just sticking your butt back, you're lifting your toes up. Two, and last one. Stay up on the ball of the feet as best you can and pedal. So I'm up and then I drop. Watch that I'm not dropping my hips, but I'm dropping and moving through the range of motion of my foot. So this can get tiresome on the ball of the foot. So do less if you need to. Come up high. Do about four more. Three, two, and last ones. Good, stand on one leg, roll the other ankle, clockwise a couple of times, counterclockwise a couple of times. Watch that you're not just shoving your weight into your hip, but you're keeping your hip underneath you. If you need a wall, a chair, so you can hold it lightly. And then switch, standing tall, bring that leg up. Again, your foot can be just off the ground. Again, if you need to hold on to something, try to do it as light as you possibly can, even just kind of tapping it, not necessarily trying to hold. Good, you guys. One foot might be a little more challenging than the other. You may feel like you're all tipping over on one side. Do three again. Two, you may feel this in your ankle and your shin. And last ones, each side. Good, starting again. Just shake out those legs, rotate. So I'm not really doing a big thing with my arms. I just wanna move through the hip, move through the ankle. Do three, two, and last one. Good. All right, so we're gonna bring that right knee up. Hold that right knee up. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. So not a trick, but a way to kind of figure it out is your brain will want you to either look up or look down with your eyes for stability. Realize that. And if you're doing really well with one, try to go to the other. So we'll bring your left knee up, balance. Again, watch that you're not pushing into your hip. You're using your core muscles actually to hold your leg up. Hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, big toe down, five, four, three, two, and down. Good, shake your legs out a little bit. Now we're gonna move a little bit with this. So you're gonna try to keep your right leg elevated and move back and forward the entire time. So you're gonna move and just reach as far back as you can Bring your leg in, your torso will come up, and just reach forward. So all I'm doing is reaching out as far out in front of me as I can. I'm slightly leaning back. My standing leg is slightly bent. I'm just pulling my leg in. I'm not reaching my leg up very high, so I don't have to worry about change of height. Bring that leg in, and then slide my foot out as far as I can. So we're staying right through the midline of the body. We're gonna go to the outside in a little bit, and then bring that knee in, and bring that foot out. Good, two more, bring that knee in, reach back, and bring that foot out. That left leg is kind of screaming. One more time, bring that knee in, reach as far back as you can without losing balance. Bring that knee in, we're finishing forward. Bring that foot all the way out in front. Ooh, that right or that left leg, that's where it kind of comes into play there. So starting on your right leg standing balance, pick your heel up, judge your foot up just a little bit, reach back and try to find that reach as far back as you feel like you can. These first couple of ones may be easier because this right leg won't be as fatigued. Reach out in front and then reach back. Again, notice I'm not trying to bring my left knee up high to switch positions. 
I want to make sure that my left leg stays low. So I'm not trying to really change my center of mass that much. Breathing. My glute on my right side is saying, good morning. A little fatigue from the last thing. Reach back as far as you can. Come up and forward. We've got two more. Get four forward and reach back. My arch on my right foot is starting to scream. It's okay. It's just strengthening. And then reach forward one more time to the back. One more time forward, reach back, reach back, reach back. And again, forward, all that time under load on that right leg, and then come in. Good. Those are some great ways to practice your balance without having to do standing there in balance. So we're gonna do about eight to each side. You're gonna do eight to your right. You're gonna take your foot out, stand on your left leg, Get as far away as you can, and then bring that leg in, stand up. Squat a little bit, and then get that leg out as far as you can without putting any weight on it. Bring that leg back in, and stand up. A little squat just gets the leg out from underneath you, and reach. So notice I'm not leaning in or away from my movement. Stay right centered. Reach out, try to keep the torso right over the center line, and then back up. We've got about four more on each side. Reach out, you feel it in that glute maybe, and then back in, and then up. Reach out, and then back in, and up. Two more each side, reach out, back in and stand up and again a little squat reach out get out there back in and stand up nice just shake those legs out now we're going to try to touch the ground so if you have something like you, you don't know if you can touch the ground without falling to it put something in the way a chair a set of blocks a kettlebell something that you can reach towards other than the ground that just brings the ground up a little bit higher. So pick a leg to start on. This is our last one of these. Body's nice and tall. Again, set up your blocks, your step, like I could put my step right there, and that's the ground. So you choose. Body's nice and tall, chest is lifted. So bending the standing leg, reach down, touch the ground, and then stand back up. Touch the ground, whatever the ground is for you. Again, the ground is higher here, bend the standing knee, touch the ground, and come back up. Gives you that segmental goal. Again, standing nice and tall, bend the standing leg, one leg, touch the ground, and then use that standing leg core to come back up. Second side, again, bend the standing knee, Eyes forward on what you find you can focus on. Reach down, stand up one more time each side. This is harder than the other stuff. Maybe not as hard as the push-ups. Bend the standing leg a little bit, fold into a little accordion, drop down, and then come up. You may even feel this in your knees, and I'll tell you why. Not because your knee is bad, it's because your ankles had to work a little bit hard, to work a little bit harder to do this. Breathing again, one more time. Ooh, this left leg isn't quite as generous as my right. And then back up. Good, all right. Almost done, guys. Rotate around your torso. Just kind of get that movement happening again. Get those arms swinging. So we've got push, we get squat, a little hinging, a little pressing today, and then balance work we're on wednesday we'll do a little pull a little hinging again some rotation good hands forward and back you've got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and last one just widen out those feet hinge forward walk your hands out 
Step your legs back. Sink back into your heels, into your hips. Reach long in those arms. Forearms come to the ground. Knees rocking on your forearms. What's nice about this is it really gets into the upper part of your chest and upper back. The further your arms are out in front of you, the more you're gonna feel that stretch. Subscapularis, teres minor, all those kind of fun words that nobody knows exactly where they are anyway. Two more. And last one. Reach back, flatten out your feet, sink way back. Come up just about a third of the way. Slide your left arm through, head down if it's comfortable. Right hand comes up. And then right hand comes down. And then let's do the other side. You're sitting back, arm goes through, hand goes up. And then down, push yourself up, roll your shoulders. Hands are on the ground, getting that pressure from the ground as you roll those shoulders, scapula moves. Two more, and the last one. And just like we began, feet out in front. Drop those knees side to side. Notice my knees are a little bit wider maybe than when we started. If you don't notice, it's okay. Do two more each side. Last ones each side. Good, and then bring those legs together. Hold both knees. Turn away. And then center, hold both knees and turn. And then come center. Take those legs like a Z and then turn all the way down to the ground. Rotate, get that big stretch in the hip. Breathe. and then come up and then sweep your legs around. Again, find that Z position, turn and move away from the thigh of that front leg. Watch that the legs are far away from each other. You wanna make sure that back leg is away. And then come on up. And guys, we are done and done.